What's up guys, welcome back to the Tesla. Welcome back to Tesla Talk Tuesday. And do we have some bad news and then also interesting news for you. <laughs> never gets old guys, it never gets old. So let's just start off with the bad news because well, then it can only go up from there, I guess, right? So uh, Tesla and the market, I guess too, but Tesla more drastically has been selling off. Yes, yeah, so um, yeah, needless to say, they weren't included in the S&P 500 rebalance. And well, people started taking profits. Obviously Tesla hit all time highs last week, like over 500 some dollars a share. Now it's trading, I think, at like 300 some dollars a share. Yeah, it's down a lot. I think it was down 88 points today, another like 15 or something after hours. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been bad. It's been bad. So there's that. Now, in other news, uh, Elon Musk, I guess, went and test drove the Volkswagen ID3. And he said it's not bad for a non-performance car. Or like, for a non-performance car, it's not bad, whatever. Uh, don't quote me exactly what he said, but basically something along those lines, which is pretty funny, but he said it's not bad. Now, uh, Volkswagen CEO has also come out and said that the uh, the Model Y is basically what they're basing everything on it's it's a reference vehicle for them which is pretty neat i mean that that says a lot of things about tesla right like volkswagen this huge automaker is using the model y as a reference vehicle for their cars and their electric cars more importantly so that's obviously very good things coming from both ceos about one another and uh, it is neat to see you know collaboration and, and automakers sort of getting along now in other news gm GM has recently partnered with Uber, I guess, to help push electric vehicles. You see, what they're doing is they're offering larger discounts for the Chevy Bolt EV. So any Uber driver gets an even steeper discount, I think like effectively an employee discount on the Chevy Bolt EV. That way they can drive a fully electric car, they get it for a cheaper price, and well, it makes driving around and uh, driving people from here to there much cheaper because obviously the cost of electricity is cheaper than the cost of fuel, blah, 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 blah. Now, the interesting thing is that there's obviously still downtime. Now you should still take breaks while you're driving, and even if you take breaks while driving for Uber, you could still be out, you know, 30 minutes or so to take a little rest, go to the bathroom, eat, and your car will be pretty much 80% charged if there's a fast charger in your area. So not a bad deal there. It's it's neat to see these companies doing that. Interestingly, GM has also partnered with a company called Nikola, and uh, that kind of goes to making their Badger pickup truck. So over the summer, Nikola's stock just shot up, went crazy. Um, so have some other EV stocks, but today they were up another 50%. Obviously they had sold back off. They were in like the $35, $36 range. They jumped up to the 50s today, jumped 50% on news that GM was taking a, uh, I guess they're gonna take an 11, per, they're getting $2 billion I think worth of stock, which is worth 11% of the company. GM is basically handling all of the production and engineering and everything for the Nikola Badger. So then my question becomes, did Nikola actually do anything? Like, have they even made any parts of this car prior to this at all in any way, shape or form? Because GM's basically doing everything for the Nikola Badger, which is quite interesting. But either way, it seems like the car will definitely get made, which in that case, the stock jumped quite significantly on that news. So interesting stuff for sure and uh, pretty neat to see. But uh, I am excited to see all these trucks coming out. We have uh, the Nikola Badger, supposed to be coming out, I think, in 2022. And then we have the Cybertruck next year. And then we also have, uh, what is it, Rivian, the R1T. That is supposed to be coming out as well. So very excited for all of these different electric trucks and uh, seeing the final price points when they actually all come out, as well as the final specs when they all come out. So. Uh, exciting things in the EV world happening right now, especially with some of these larger partnerships and well, like CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, and the CEO of the Volkswagen Group kind of getting together and uh, trading kind words with each other. So it's always neat to see. And on that note, we are gonna keep this Tesla Talk Tuesday short and sweet, but if you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate it, it would really help me out. And uh, well, yeah, as always, until next time guys, thanks for watching.